Swaddling seems too tricky to some parents. If it's the same for you, try swaddling with a zip-up onesie instead. Place your baby in the onsie and zip it up. Then fold the sleeves over their hands to create a snug swaddle. Welcome back. For today's video, we gathered some fantastic hacks to make your life a little easier during this incredible, yet sometimes overwhelming journey. Before we start the video, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Around six weeks of age, your newborn begins to have fewer overnight poops. This reduction leads to fewer necessary diaper changes during the night. Changing diapers after every small urination is unnecessary. This adjustment brings more sleep for both you and your baby. Diaper changes are stimulating for newborns, potentially making it harder for them to fall back asleep. Minimizing these changes reduces nighttime wake-ups. Once you notice less nighttime pooping, apply a barrier cream before bedtime to prevent diaper rush. You can postpone changing the diaper until the morning. For nighttime diaper changes, use a diaper one size larger than your baby's usual size. This can hold more and reduce the chances of leaks, giving both you and your baby a better night's sleep. In the case of baby boys, when removing their diaper, they may unexpectedly urinate. This is due to the exposure to air triggering their reflex to urinate. To avoid this, run a wet wipe across their belly before removing the diaper or gently flap the front of the diaper a few times to contain any urine before removal. For diaper explosions, dressing your baby in onesies or shirts with overlapping material at the shoulders can make cleanup easier. Pulling down the clothing over their body can prevent spreading poop. Newborns also exhibit the palmar grasp reflex, causing them to grab onto objects. Gently bending their wrist inwards can help release their grip. During bath times, this technique aids in cleaning between their fingers. To clean between toes, trigger the plantar reflex by stroking the sole of their foot from heel to toe. To reduce bath time distress, offer a pacifier or position their hands near their mouth for sucking. Sucking provides comfort. Attach a pacifier clip to your baby's onsi to prevent that inevitable game of pacifier fetch during the night. This can be a true sanity saver. Liking this video will increase its visibility, helping us to create more valuable content like this. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.